please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Hi, I'm Blake, manager with Easy Test Pool Supplies, here to talk about programming and setting a clock for a Stay Right Supermax Variable Speed Pump. First, we're going to begin by setting the clock on our pump. Imagine this is right out of the box and we're ready to set it. So what you will do is you'll press this display button for three seconds. Now you'll see this 12 hour cycle come up with the time light blinking. We press the plus or minus button to set either 24 hour or 12 hour clock. For our purposes, we're going to use a 12 hour clock. Now you'll press display again to continue to the next setting. Now we'll be setting the time. Currently it's 12.30 p.m. here, so we'll set that. We'll press display next to advance to the next setting, which is gonna be our backlight brightness on the screen. So you can set this lower if you want to. For our purposes, we're going to have it at 100. We'll press the display button again to exit, and now you can see we're displaying the correct time on the pump. Now we'll be going over programming a custom schedule on our Supermax pump. So first, if your pump is running, press the stop, stop button to stop the pump. Now we're gonna press the number one button to set our first speed. You'll see the LED over one and speed blinking. To adjust the speed, we use the plus and minus buttons, which adjust it in 10 RPM increments. For our first setting, we're going to adjust to 2750. Once we have our number, we're going to press the one again to move on to our time setting. This will be our start time. For this setting, we're going to start at 6 a.m. Now we'll press the one again to move on to our duration. This duration is going to go for four hours. Your adjustments come in 15 minute increments. Once we have four hours, we press the number one button again. Now everything's set here. You can continue setting things or press the number two to move on to set that. So we're gonna set our speed first. Our number two setting is going to be at 1400 RPMs, which it's already at, so we're fine. So we'll press number two again to move on to our duration, which will be for six hours. This will automatically start after the number one setting is through. And that's how we set our second setting. Our third setting, we'll press the number three button. And again, we'll be adjusting our speed. For our third setting, we're gonna use 2,000 RPMs. Now that we have our speed set, we'll press the number three button one more time, and we're gonna set our duration. This will be a longer cycle going for 14 hours. Note that if you do not use all of your times, the third cycle will round out your 24 hour cycle. You cannot have a setting more than 24 hours. Now that that's done, you can press your start stop button and your pump will run at your selected speeds depending on what time it is now. So now we're gonna go over the quick clean section. Quick clean is used for vacuuming your pool. So to set this, you're gonna press the quick clean button and set our RPMs first. We're going to set these at 3,000 for our purposes. Once we have our desired RPM set, we hit quick clean again to set our duration. So we're gonna let this go for an hour. Once that's set, it'll time out and end up being your quick clean cycle. Now a couple notes for quick clean. After quick clean is done, your normal 24 hour cycle will resume and it will not have any interruptions to your set cycles. So this is the pump run under normal conditions and this is the quick clean setting. If you put the quick clean setting on by mistake and want to cancel it, 
just hold the quick clean button for three seconds. And your pump will resume its normal cycle. Thanks for watching. 